Hey everybody, I'm Folygon, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can be a digital cowboy in ZBrush. But first, let's get a 3D model that's a little bit more appropriate for this demonstration. Now unfortunately, I don't have a horse model that we can use for this demonstration, so this will have to be a good enough substitute. So we're going to be taking a look at some of the lasso tools in ZBrush. I'm sure that most of you are familiar with the standard mask brush. You can activate this by holding the control key, and then you can paint your mask directly on top of your model. While holding control and alt, you can actually paint out your mask as well. And then by hovering off of your model and control clicking and dragging, you can get a square selection for your mask. And this does go all the way through your model. And then control clicking and dragging will clear that mask. So what we want to look at to become actual digital cowboys is we're going to hold the control key and go up here to our brush icon. And you'll see that there are a bunch of different masking tools that we can use in here. Specifically, I would like to take a look at the mask lasso. So go ahead and select that. And now with the control key held, when you draw out your mask, you'll actually get a marquee selection that you can control the shape of. And this works just like the mask pen where we can hold control and alt and do a negative selection as well. A cool thing that you can do with this is you can hold the control key to draw out your mask and then hold the space bar and you're able to move that mask around and then drop that wherever you want that selection to take place. And then again you can just control click and drag to clear your mask. I find that this masking brush is great in combination with the standard masking brush. If you want to start by making a quick block out selection and then swapping back to your mask pen and start to clean up your mask that way, I find that to be a pretty nice workflow and a little bit faster than just using the mask pen by itself. A lot of the time though, just using the mask lasso on its own is typically good enough for most selections. Alright, so we have one lasso in our toolkit, but we're not quite digital cowboys yet, so let's look at the second lasso that we're going to be using, and that involves using the selection tools in ZBrush. So much like the masking tool where we hold control, this time we're going to hold control and shift, and then click and drag, and we'll be able to create a marquee selection. And this essentially hides parts of your geometry temporarily so that you can work on specific parts of your model. You can also hold control and shift plus alt, if you would like to hide a certain part of your mesh. But unfortunately, that selection rectangle isn't very specific in terms of the shape that we want. So let's control shift and click on our canvas to get all that back. And then what we'll do while still holding control and shift is click up on our brushes and find that beautiful selection lasso tool. And then we can use this much like what we did with the mask lasso, holding control and shift to make an interesting selection. And then you can come in here and get a little bit more specific with your selection, hiding and showing different parts until you get the specific part of your mesh that you want to work on. And then again, you can hold control and shift, click and drag on your canvas to inverse that selection. And then just by tapping on your canvas while holding that, you'll unhide everything. All right, so now you guys are fully fledged digital cowboys, but I want to show you one last little bonus selection and masking trick that I like to use. I'm going to turn off everything except for my body, so we can just work on that. Sorry for the absolutely disturbing face up here. We'll just have to ignore that part. <laughs> so we're going to activate our 3D gizmo or transpose line. Either one will work just fine. And we're going to hold the control key with that activated and click and drag on our canvas. And this is a little bit easier to do if your geometry is a little bit lower resolution. So I'll just step down in my subdivisions all the way back down to my lowest subdiv, and you can see how that selection is working here. And this is called topological masking because it flows with your geometry. So you can see I have some edge loops down here in this leg, and again, by using the transpose tool or 3D gizmo, I can simply control, click, and drag down the length of that object to mask it based on its topology. And then from there, a little trick that I like to use is control tapping to invert a selection and then maybe pressing control W, which will create a polygroup of our masked selection. And then we control shift click on that polygroup to select only that part. And then we can just work on that individually. These selection tools are incredibly powerful and I hope that they help you out as much as they've helped me in my workflow. 
If this video has helped you out, please consider checking out my Gumroad at gumroad.com slash Folygon. I have a bunch of tutorials on there, as well as some brushes, materials, my custom UI, all the stuff that I use professionally in my own workflow. And with that said, you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you digital cowboys in the next video.